Hey everyone and welcome back to Joey's Retro Handhelds. In this video, we're going to be installing Nether SX2, which is a continuation of Aether SX2, a popular PS2 emulator for Android. Aether SX2 is sort of the only option for PS2 emulation on Android, and it was just recently removed from the Play Store, although that version wasn't entirely recommended anyways. Nether SX2 aims to continue where Aether SX2 left off, so it's the natural successor here and that's what we're going to be installing today. This can get really confusing, so let's go with a good old picture to help you out. First, there's Aether SX2 version 3668, and this was the last known good version before the developer added advertisements into it. Aether SX2 version 4248 was the next and last version, this was the one that was on the Play Store, it had ads, and it also broke front-end functionality, so it won't work with Daijisho and others. But then Nether SX2 came along and it has two versions that matches both of these. There's Nether SX2 Classic, which is basically just version 3668 with some changes, and then there's Nether SX2 Current, which is a continuation of 4248 with small fixes and other additions as well. And again, there's the removal of ads, and it does work with front end, so they fixed a few things. But here's the thing there is no one good version out of all four of these versions for every situation. There's even differences between 3668 and Nether SX2 Classic. It's all game dependent. And that's where things get a bit frustrating because on top of all of that, you can't install all four of these and just swap between them. You have to choose one. And even I don't have the right answer for that. My gut feeling and what I'll be doing is just going with Nether SX2 Current and whatever works, works. But personally, I've only ever used and installed Aether SX2 3668. And that's been my choice forever. But obviously, this video is about installing Nether, so let's do that. First and foremost, if you currently don't have Aether SX2 installed on your device at all, and you never did, you can skip this next section to the next timestamp, as I'm going to go over how to back up data for those that do. If you've ever had Aether SX2 installed, continue listening as there is something we have to check to make sure that Nether's installed doesn't fail. And now, a warning. Save states will most likely not carry over here, especially if you're going to go from 3668 to Nether SX2 Current. I didn't test 3668 to Nether SX2 Classic, but it could be the same. Meaning, make sure that you do actual in-game saves for the games that you care about to avoid losing any of your progress. Don't say I didn't warn you. Open Aether SX2 and then head to the Settings top left, and then Transfer Data, and you want to click export. This is going to export all of your Aether SX2 data. We have to choose a folder, and the easiest is just to make a folder called Aether SX2 in your downloads folder. Choose that folder, and now you'll see exactly what will be exported. Go ahead with it and let it do its thing. So we now have all of our Aether SX2 data ready to import into Nether SX2 when we get there. But first, we have to uninstall Aether SX2. Push and hold on Aether SX2, then go to App Info, and select Uninstall. You could also go to the Android Settings App section to uninstall that way if you have a different front end that you're using. Make sure to not select a checkbox, we don't want to keep any data. With Aether SX2 gone, let's triple check that there's no traces left still. And this is the part applicable to people who had Aether SX2 installed previously. You're going to need Solid Explorer File Manager, so head to the Play Store and install it. Head to Internal Storage, Android, Data, and scroll all the way down and make sure that there's no folder starting with xyz.aetherSX2. If there is, delete that folder, and you might have to grant permissions to do so, but all you need to do is delete that folder. We now have a clean slate for you to install Nether SX2, and you also have to decide which version. 
At this point, just go ahead with Nether SX2 current. That would be the best bet, although once again, there really is no right answer. I'm still going to show Nether SX2 Classic for those that want it, so let's start there first. And we're going to start with the Android method first, so the one that you don't need a PC for. And then I'll show you the Windows method after. So you have both options available to you. You only have to pick one of these methods. Head to Google and search for Nether SX2 Classic, and it's the GitHub by Trixarian. Go to Releases on the right, scroll to Resources, and expand the Assets and download the first option, which is the 3668 APK. Then scroll up and download the xdelta file from the other post. Head to the Play Store and install Unipatcher, then open it. For patch file, select the xdelta file that we downloaded. For ROM file, select the Aether SX2-3668 APK, and then for output file, select the folder, so you can just choose the same downloads folder. Click save on the right, and you'll get a patching complete message. If you get some sort of error, double check all of your steps, and if you still get the error, you can use the Windows method in a second. Head to Solid Explorer, and then into your Downloads folder, or wherever you saved the patched APK, and then open it. Should say Installing Nether SX2, and you can install it and open it. You can now skip to the Importing Data timestamp. For everybody else where that didn't work, or if you want to do it on a PC instead, let's go ahead. Head to the Nether SX2 Classic GitHub by Trixarian once again on your PC, and then to the releases section. This time, download the zip file under the xdelta file. Now, you need to have Java installed for this, and if you head to the Nether SX2 Classics main GitHub page, you can see the Java link there to install it. Once you do, extract the Nether SX2 Classic zip file that we downloaded, and then head inside and just open the patch apk bat file. Let it do its thing, and you'll now see a file that ends in mod patched apk. That's the Nether SX2 apk. We're all set. Connect your device to your PC, and then move that file over onto your device, and you could just put it in your downloads folder again, and then install it. And you can now move to the importing data timestamp. Alright, so for people that want to install Nether SX2 current, let's go ahead. And it's very much the same steps. Let's start with the Android steps first, and then we'll do Windows. And once again, you only have to do one of these methods. Head to Google, and then search for Nether SX2 Patch, and select the Trixarian GitHub. Head to Releases, and you want to download the Nether SX2 xdelta file, and it's in the first post. Then scroll down and download the 4248 APK, which is the Aether SX2 APK. Head to the Play Store and install Unipatcher and then open it. For patch file, select the xdelta file that we downloaded. And for ROM files, select the Aether SX2-4248 APK. And then for the output file, select the folder, and you can just choose the Downloads folder. 
Click Save on the right and you'll get a patching complete message. If you get some sort of error, double check all of your steps, and if you still get the error, you can use the Windows method in a second. Head to Solid Explorer and then into your Downloads folder or wherever you save the patched APK and then open it. It should say installing NetherSX2 and then you can install it and open it. You can now skip to the importing data timestamp. For everybody else where that didn't work, let's do it on a Windows PC instead. Head to the NetherSX2 patch GitHub by Trixarian once again, and the releases section. This time, download the NetherSX2 build zip file. Now, you do need to have Java installed for this, so if you don't have Java, head to the NetherSX2 patch main GitHub page, and you can see the Java link there to install it. Once you do, extract the NetherSX2 builder zip file that we downloaded, and then head inside and just open the build NetherSX2 bat file. Let it do its thing, and you should now see a file in a patched APK folder that says noads.apk. That's the NetherSX2 APK, so we're all set. Connect your device to your PC and move that file onto your device and then install it. You can now move to the importing data timestamp. If you have no existing data to import, then you're all done. I'll share a guide in the description to help you set up NetherSX2 and off you go. Even for users that are importing data, you will need to reconfigure some things. So it's good to check out that guide to make sure you haven't forgotten anything. For those that need to import their existing data, open NetherSX2 and then head to Settings, top left, then Transfer Data, and you want to click Import. This is going to import all of your existing AetherSX2 data. So go ahead and choose the folder that we created when we exported the data earlier. So for me, it was just called AetherSX2 and it was in the Downloads folder. It's going to ask what you want to import, go ahead and leave them all selected, and then click OK and let it do its thing. Now you just need to reconfigure a few things in NetherSX2, like your controls and add your game directory back in and so on. Once again, you can check out my AetherSX2 guide for how to get started from this point. But as of this point, you're done with NetherSX2, so you can just go on ahead and start playing some games. And with that, I'm done with this video. Don't forget to like and sub to help the channel grow, and hope you all have a good one.